In today's video, we're gonna be talking about charging the Hummer EV pickup. I'm Frank Baltieres, so let's get started right now. Welcome to the review of the Hummer EV. And today is gonna to mark the first time that I charge it. I picked it up about two weeks ago. It's gonna be, yeah, about two weeks ago, roughly. And this is the first time that I'm gonna charge it. I'm sitting at 10% uh, battery. It has 382 miles right now, 10% charge. And it's currently telling me that I have 46 miles of my current range. So you see on there? So I have been in the electrical car family for about five years now. I've had a, I have a Tesla Model S 2016. So I can be able to compare some of the things uh, that I've noticed here on the Hummer with the Tesla. That's how my basis of comparison is. I don't get all like uh, technical with the numbers. I'm a, just an average driver. I don't do the zero to 60 on a track or anything like that. So you won't see me doing any of that fun stuff. This is just a real driver, daily driver. This is actually mine. So I don't get paid to talk about it in a good way. I can talk all the negatives that I want, all the positives that I want, but I'll tell you all of them here. But I am gonna charge it. So let's pull out the charger because I wanted to grab this because I think it's a very mon monumental moment. Charging the Hummer for the first time. And what I have is a Tesla 30 amp 240 plug. That's what I have. Uh, so I'm gonna be using that. I don't have like a full 60 amp. I am an electrician, but I didn't even install one myself. Can you believe that? What a what, what a lazy electrician. Can't even put a 60 amp outlet in his whole in his entire house. But I've been using a 30 because I do have the free supercharging from Tesla. So I use that 99% of the time. With this one, I actually have to pay for charging. What kind of life is this, man? So we're gonna get in the front. So when you bought the Hummer EV, they did send you a Clipper Creek charger. Uh, but what I noticed when I bought the truck in the wonderful front here, where I store my, uh, it serves a purpose and it stores Domino's pizza, the best pizza in the world. Now, now I'm promo there. <laughs> but that's what it's good for because you don't put food in the front. So in the front here, they did give us a charger, which is pretty cool. So actually we have two chargers. And you see here, it's still brand new. There's no cheating. I didn't like take it out and, and do it, but it's exactly like a Tesla. So it has a 1450 for the NEMA 1450 outlet. You see right here. They used to give these away with Tesla. And I know now on the mobile chargers, they don't do that. They charge you guys. What kind of stuff is that Tesla? We used to give, we used to get all this free stuff. And now all these new Tesla people have to pay for it. So you just plug it in just like the Tesla one, just like that. And then we're gonna take this coil. This is just the regular one that they have. They even have these like at the mall, the ones that you have at the mall. I think they call it uh, J something. I forgot what the exact number is. But anyways, let's take it over. Ah! And I'm gonna show you how I plug it into my house. And uh, I'm gonna give you just a review on the charging for right now. And then tomorrow we'll take it out for a spin. And we'll actually engage the WTF. And what everybody talks about crab walks and everybody talks about this WTF. And as a daily driver, trust me, you don't use it every day. So let me go plug it in, follow me, and we'll go do that. So here is the handy dandy Tesla charger that we have. This has been my trusty friend for years and years and years. And to be honest, it has not failed me once. Literally, it's been a phenomenal piece of hardware right here. So we're gonna unplug it for the first time because I never unplug it. Doesn't matter if it snows, if it's sunny. This is always plugged in all the time. But like I said, I don't charge at home. Usually the only time I charge at home is in winter. Other than that, I'm supercharging that bad boy. Oh my God, every time. That's some tough stuff, man. All right, so let's plug this in now. Again, there's a 1450. Oh, there it is. You guys can see it turned on. Again, this is a 30 amp 240 plug. I don't know what the yellow means. I'm assuming it's good. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go plug it in. Let's see if it actually charges the truck. What I tell people is when you have a lower amperage breaker, being this one a 30, what's gonna change is your miles. That's all the difference is gonna be. The only way that you, the only benefit of going like a 40, a 50, or a 60, an 80, is you'll get more miles per hour. That's it. It's not gonna like be something difficult for your truck. But like I said, this is the first time I'm plugging this Hummer in. And they said you kind of have to do this. Ah, oh, there it is. 
All right, so you do that, and then let's plug it in. I don't even know if it's doing anything. There's no lights, man. What is up, baby? It's red. Hold on. Let's leave the camera right there. Unable to charge. C charging station. Oh. All right. Let me find out what's the deal here. Because technically, like I said, it should be charging. Unless it does require it. Like I said, with Tesla, there's no issues. But I don't know with the Hummer. It's a little bit more picky. And it wants an actual 60. So give me two seconds. Look in here. And cord set indicator key. So it says it's an amber color. I think that was amber. It was like yellow. So I'm assuming amber is yellow. And it was solid. So it says rebooting due to error. So I guess we can reboot it. Um, like I said, I don't see anything else that could be an issue with it. It should work. There's nothing that says that it shouldn't. But this is real life operations of this thing all right so this is what you're gonna do but let's take it over there it says amber solid it's problem external to charge cord check swappable grid da, 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 inserted check wall receptacle and vehicle connection we'll do that right now uh, uh charging derated due to ccid at high temp that's not it so let's check this out we're let's reboot it let's unplug it and then we're gonna take this off put it back in and we'll see if that uh fixes anything so let's go over there and let's so honestly, I think it would help if I like inserted the plug all the way fully. <laughs> what a dummy. Um, so I didn't have it like connected all the way in. It just needed just like a little itty bitty more tug. Like literally that's all it was. I just unplugged it and I plugged it back in. And I noticed that it went in right here, like on the crevice that you see right here. This went in just a little bit deeper by like half inch. So it was missing just a hair as you can see there. Now it has a blue plug this thing can get retired and to be honest you know what i can do with this so when you go like to the volta or like the malls or something like that I, I don't know if they give it to you guys still with tesla they give you these adapters where it goes from that kind of style plug to uh, the tesla one they, they i have like three of them but um as i said they used to give them away for free but let's see i think i heard the truck charging let's double check now it's take two let's actually try to turn it on again and make sure that it does charge yeah! I'm just kidding guys, it's, it's not like that. <laughs> Don't get scared when it rains, it's okay. You, you'll be okay. I see on all these forums, people are like, hey, when it rains, is it okay to plug it in? It's okay. Ooh, you guys hear that? Beep, beep. And you know what's cool? I still have never seen this yet. I've only seen it in videos where the headlights turn blue. Almost like an indicator that the battery is charging. I'm about to see this live and in person. So let's walk over here because I'm really, really curious to see what kind of mileage I get per hour. That makes a huge difference. Let's go see. I'm covering this up because I don't want you guys to see it yet. I already saw the number. And it's kind of similar to my Tesla. So just imagine this Homer has a, uh, a big, big old battery. I was going to say another word, but I don't know if YouTube will clip me. So, um... It has a big old battery. It's almost double. Well, mine's a 75 kilowatt Tesla, so this one's almost almost triple the size of my Tesla. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, I was trying to surprise you guys and it like backfired on me. All right, come on, baby. Turn on, I wanna show them how many miles they get per hour. Let me get in here. Hey. All right, let's turn it off. Okay, so there it is. So we get 11 miles an hour. Obviously, if you have a big 60 amp breaker, you'll get about, um, uh, what you call it? Probably 40. And look, oh my gosh, Sunday at 1.55 p.m. is when it would be complete. So that would literally mean I'd have to leave it plugged in almost 24 hours. Because today, I'm gonna tell you guys it's Friday, about uh, 9 p.m. So, do that Sunday is 24 hours plus two about 25 hours that's a long time it might have me intrigued to up my amperage on my house <laughs> but let's go see this front of the, the the truck ah shoot never mind oh don't close on me and there's something there the bags there. I was trying to close the hood but there's actually something there so I stand corrected it's 1 55 a.m. 
Oh, see, there it is. A little light. You can tell that I'm the type of guy that runs stuff low. So, uh, just like on my Tesla, I like to run it to one mile. I like to arrive at the charging station with one mile. That's just how I like to roll. It keeps me on my toes. Uh, so, there it is. Let's close this. And there you go. So this will be on. I don't even know if it stays on all night. That'd be kind of annoying to the neighbors, to be honest. I hope it doesn't. But this will start charging all the way here. That, I don't know. I would not like that to be on all night. So hopefully it turns off or there's a way to turn this off. Because that would annoy me. Like if I was across the street and I saw this all night. Blink, blink, blink. Like, dude, you know, turn off your car. <laughs> so with that that's the review of the hummer so far this is just a real charging scenario with the 30 amp breaker 240 nema 1450 you get 11 miles an hour uh, it's about the same thing that you would get with the tesla so there's no difference i thought it was going to be maybe less but 11 miles an hour i'm used to that stuff um so there you go it just has a big battery so it's going to take forever again oh i forgot to introduce myself man frank Baltieres. and usually i talk about food trucks and how to build your own food truck but today we're reviewing this and tomorrow we're going to take it for a spin take the top off and show you the real daily use of a Hummer EV. Thank you again.